Oh boy! <laughs> this area... This area gave me quite the problem, but not really in the way that I was expecting it to. I thought that I was gonna have a heck of a time with the actual board game, and then surprise, surprise, the cutscene skip was awful. Anyway, hey guys, Miss Sayanella here, and welcome to the finale of Banjo-Kazooie. I honestly can't believe we're here. I, I'm honestly still reeling from the fact that we're here in the final act of the game, and we're about to wrap it up. So, it's time to head on off to find Grunty as the cutscene so deemed, which I wouldn't have seen if I didn't play back up to that area on another file. It, it was actually terrible. Okay, so I, I do I do think it's a great idea to have the the credits be skippable. I do think that they should be skippable, but not at the expense of the freaking, the freaking cutscene. That was dumb. Anyway, moving on with my life, we have pretty much an automatic unlock for the cauldron. Now we can get here whenever we want from the, the, the beginning of the furnace sun area. Oh, there's an extra life. Grunty something something hog. I really need a big hot dog. <laughs> I guess she's hungry? Question mark? And here is the final note door. That feels really strange. I'm not gonna lie. That feels super strange. So we have a jiggy puzzle here. It's not over, stupid bear. See my picture over there. To fill it up is no mean feat. Lots of jiggies make it complete. And by lots, she means... Actually, I don't know how many jiggies that is total. But if we come up here... Boop -a -da -boo! Oh, that actually is a lot. I'm sad to say down there you stop. Because I'm safe here at the top. <laughs> there she is. Beyond that doorway. But I do want to show this first. If we take the detour here in this room, we can see where she was keeping Tootie all of that time. And I suck at killing things suddenly. That's not a great thing to have happen when I'm about to go and face the boss. So yeah, this is actually really cool. I like that they added this little room in here. It doesn't really serve any purpose doesn't do much of anything. It's just so that you can see where they've been camping out and I guess keeping Tootie, as the case may be. But we have her back. Now we just need to make Grunty pay, I guess. I wanna I wanna look at that uh that picture. She is not very flattering. God gotta give her that much. She's not terribly flattering. Anyway, up here is our destination, and we have her cauldron. Whew, what a disgusting smell. Ooh, visitors for Dingpot. I like visitors. It's a wonder you get any sewer breath. Kazooie, come on now. Ah, oh, what a strange birdie thing mean. Uh, she said that we're looking for Gruntilda. Do you know where she is? I sure do, Mr. Bear. Grunty's awful, you know. She was sick in me earlier on. Ew. If you can get rid of her, I'll be free. Don't be sure, you silly pot. Soon I'll have you nice and hot. See these filthy clothes I've got? When I've won, you'll wash the lot. Don't worry, Dingpot. We'll sort her out if you can find us a way up up there. No problem, just splosh on in and I'll fire you up to the top. Jump in there? No way, dung box. <laughs> Mom Kazooie, you can you get a chance to peck the witch's butt. Let's go. I'm sure that's exactly what Kazooie wants. Anyway, here we have a bunch of doors. Also, I lied, that wasn't the actual last door. But these don't actually lead to passageways, so I don't really count them. Uh, this stupid quest you should stop. You won't get to me at the top. 
So these are actually really helpful. They are full refills on your supplies. So open these up and we have like gold feathers, the the eggs, and you can probably guess what we're gonna unlock right over here. This is the red feather, which I do think I actually need, which is great. Ah, uh, 50. <laughs> Did I tell you she puked in me? It was awful. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Uh, is that the last one? That is the last one. So, come in here and this is special. If... No, don't, no. Back. Back. Back, I say. Back, Banjo. If you get all of the jiggies, you can put them in here and what it does is double your life force. So we have, uh, we have six, seven, eight honeycomb. We would essentially have 16, which is nuts. And I'm going to tell you right now that I'm not doing that. <laughs> because I'm a glutton for punishment and I wanna see if I can do this the hard way. So we're gonna do this hard mode. I've snubbed all of the other power-ups, I'm gonna snub this one too, but don't worry, we'll come back later in a bonus episode or whatever to actually fill up our life meter and see what it's like and have our 16 honeycomb, but I'm into the challenge. I've been doing this pretty much hard mode all the way through. We're gonna do hard mode to the very end and face Gruntilda with one health bar. Launch me up, dung box! I can't believe that furry pair! Got right up here, it's so unfair! But now the stupid bear must fight! This battle test, your skill and might! Alright, so Gruntilda, ahoy! Here she is! Uh, it starts out super simple, honestly. She's just gonna dive bomb you from the top. There she goes, and then here we go, just peck her butt. Now you've got me in a fluster. Faster spells I'll have to muster. And yeah, she will, she will fire little fireballs at you. It's not super threatening. Uh, there we go. Fireball. Oh, she tried to lead that shot. Did you see that? All right, you know what? It's time for Kazooie. I don't know why I wasn't I wasn't hopping on Kazooie anyway. Here we go. And there. Whoop. Aha! Not quite. Okay, it, it looks like I can actually walk fast enough. This is fine. And now one more, I think. Yep, there she goes, and peck her butt! Magic spell of Banjo homie. Get him now to stop his roaming. And thus she starts casting magic spells which follow you. You can't avoid them, so use golden feathers. Aha, not quite, not quite. Okay, we can hide here. Kind of, sort of. And now we need to launch three eggs at her, which only two connected, of course. Because why would I expect anything else? That didn't hurt, I feel no pain. Grunty's ready to fight again. Whoop. So the more you hit her, the more the more fireballs she's going to throw at you, and the faster they're going to travel, so just wait for a, an opening. Whoop. And then very quickly, there we go. One, two. Nope, that's gonna, yep. You really don't wanna fall because unfortunately you, <laughs> you can fall off of here. There is no invisible wall to help you. Are you gonna? Okay, there we go. Whoop, away. Whoop! Jumping is your friend when avoiding the fireballs. 
So make sure you're kind of just jumping away. Because that kind of cuts down on the travel. There we go. And I think... Nope, I need to land one more. Come on. Oh, don't fall down. Do not fall, thank you. Uh, and... Gold Feather! Uh, not bad so far. Banjo, now use your aerial skills against the old buzzer with this fly pad. So we're, we're pretty much incorporating everything that we've done thus far. Flying, of course, was a major part of the game, so... Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be great. I'm terrible at aiming this. Remem remember? Remember my time in, like, <laughs> winter click clock wood? I remember that, too. This is gonna be awful. Ouch! Now that one really stung. Take this nasty spell I've brung. No, uh, no, 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 no. Oh! You don't want to angle down. Are you ready this time, birdie thing? Um, I, I take offense to that. How dare you imply that I'm not ready. So, don't angle yourself too low. I'm just gonna say that. It's, it's rough. Something cool is that she can start the fight with different taunts. So she has different things to say now. And there we go! Uh, that one went more smoothly in a way. Uh, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, can I just... Yes! Yes! Oh, that was actually really good! Uh, okay, so don't angle down. Please, whatever you do, don't angle down. I'm gonna angle down. But I was pretty sure I could make that shot. Uh, you actually have to hit her quite a few times. So just be careful. And don't do that. <laughs> but at least I didn't hit the ground that time. Uh, I do, as much as I suck at flying, I'm glad that they incorporated this into the fight. This was such a huge part of the game, and it was it was always like a fascination of mine that, oh, you're a bird in this game. Well, half bird. Well, you have a bird with you. Oh, shoot. I didn't actually think that that would hurt. Um. Come on, please. Nope, not quite. I always thought that it was really cool that you had a bird with you, and you essentially could fly. You're not quite actually playing as the bird, but still. Oh, come on! I just needed like two centimeters and then that would have connected. Not quite. Man, I sure am paying for that one great shot that I had. Okay, this is actually a pretty good setup. Gotta remember that I can also... Use the R button to sharp turn. Oh, of course you stopped. If you kept going, that would have been a great shot. I let it in everything. No, 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 no. Oh! oh, oh, that was very, very close. That was a very close call. I I skidded my, my freaking chest hairs. I'm not great at flying. Flying is absolutely, positively, one of my weaknesses in this game. One of a few. And unfortunately, she is a moving target. Ha ha! Come on! Okay, I'm gonna let her pass by, and then I'm gonna meet her around halfway here, and perfect! Not perfect! Really? Really? All you had to do was stay still. I think I only need one more hit on you and you're done. And you're making this as hard as it possibly can be. Please! Thank you very much! Okay, yes, it is done. So Grunty doesn't come to grief. Here's a spell I can hide beneath. Come on, land, please. Grab this... Thank you. So now all you gotta do is dodge a little bit. And then the Jinjos come out! We Jinjos come to help our friend Banjo! 
I hid you well for being bad. Don't help the bear, you'll make me mad. So what you wanna do is shoot three eggs into the hole. And here comes a Jinjo. Now, oh, those nasty pointy beaks are causing swelling in my cheeks. <laughs> Which ones, Grunty? Whoop, jump. Okay, now that one is going. The best way that you can do this is to combo it through because she's going to get stunned every time a Jinjo hits her. Okay. There we go, and done. That's all four Jinjos. Thought you'd got me beat, but look, I've landed on my feet. Oh, here she comes. Oh, oh, right in the face. Okay. Now she's gonna be super aggressive about these fireballs. It's gonna be a little hard to dodge them all, but if you wait around a little bit, here he is. I am the mighty Gingernator. I love that so much. So she's gonna be throwing fireballs like nobody's business. The best way to go about this is to wait for this spell and then shoot the holes in the downtime because it's exceedingly hard to shoot them while she's shooting fireballs. So here we go, she's gonna keep going. One more spell. Okay, I only have four more of those. I think that should be enough. That gives me four shots of her magic spell. There's a considerable amount of delay there. Ah, shoot. Not what I meant to do! Okay, so I, I have two shots. Yes, there we go. Come on. Two and three! Nice! Come on, Mr. Gingernator. Fail to work, he's nothing but a feeble jerk. That last Jinjo has finished me, but who laughs last? We shall soon see. This should not be. So hurry, Klungo, rescue me! <laughs> Can we talk about the human? She looks so out of place. And can we talk about how she's carrying two melons? Can we talk about this really quick? <laughs> Banjo's like, go, huh? We can talk about that all you want. <laughs> Have we finished now, Tootie? Can I relax? Sure, 
Banjo, you and Kazooie are heroes now. Did you hear that, Shorty? I'm a hero! Mm, yes, I suppose you are. Well done, Kazooie. Thanks, Goggles. You're not so dumb after all. That's enough, Kazooie. Let's all watch the cast list now. Are you ready for credits round two? <laughs> As if I wasn't already scarred enough from the previous credits. But technically, this is just the credits of the actual in-game cast. So, it's a little bit different. Man, I'm honestly just... I'm honestly just floored that we're at the end of the game. I can't believe that I'm actually watching the end game credits now. And thankfully, we're not quite done yet. I did mention earlier in this episode that there are a few things in the post game that I'd like to check out. So, <laughs> this thing's name is Big Butt? I never knew that. That's hilarious. His name is actually Big Butt. I mean, okay. Sure. Uh, I think I think the his butt is probably the smallest thing on him. Hmm. Anyway, I'm I'm getting off topic. Um We will be looking at a few things after this in a couple of bonus episodes, maybe one or two. I'm not sure exactly how many, but there are a few things that we haven't seen and some things that we have seen, but I kinda wanna go back and get. Cough cough. Double life upgrade, cough, cough. But I did it! I actually beat Grunty with one health bar, you know, minus accidentally slamming myself into the ground and getting rid of all of my health in one go. Not counting that, it was fine. We did great. But getting back to the overall perspective of this series, it was a lot of fun to do. I, I actually really enjoyed going back and Revisiting these places that I remember playing when I was really really young and getting to experience them as an adult again was Kind of wild actually a bunch of my a bunch of my opinions have changed after being a bit more experienced with games in general But overall Banjo-Kazooie is just such an iconic game. It has iconic characters iconic music just an iconic atmosphere. Everything about it is catchy, like to the T. And I'm so glad that I got to revisit it and experience it all over again. And it's really cool because when I started this, there hasn't been any acknowledgement for Banjo-Kazooie in a long time, but sometime during the length of this series, Banjo-Kazooie got announced for Smash Ultimate. <laughs> that was wild and it just, it brings warmth to my heart to think that Banjo-Kazooie is getting a little bit more love and I know that everyone already loves this game and it's very, very well loved. But to see it acknowledged again on an official standpoint is heartwarming for me and I hope that it continues and we get some extra things out of it beyond that. And if I can just briefly get a little bit personal about the origins of this series, I've been wanting to do Banjo-Kazooie for you guys for a really long time. I honestly can't even remember the first time that I thought, you know, that game would actually be perfect for YouTube. <laughs> it's been a while, but it's been so long that one aspect of making this series is actually a little bit painful. Um, it actually lies in the chibi for Banjo-Kazooie. And obviously we know that Kazooie is a red and yellow bird. Well, if you've been around the channel for a while, you'll know that I once had a sun conure. Her name was Mochi and sun conures are beautiful red and yellow birds and i always planned that if i ever did banjo kazooie then mochi would be the star of it and i would base the chibi around her and kazooie and in my mind the chibi isn't just 
Kazooie herself, but also my little baby bird that I had to say goodbye to a few years ago. And it hurts my heart, and making the chibi was honestly kind of rough <laughs> at the beginning of the series, but... I'm happy that I actually got to do this now, and I, I just- I just had to share that little tidbit. But, with that being said, we have more beach scene! And more melons! Because, of course. Hey, Mumbo got secret pictures! Nice one, Bone Brain! What's on them? Got pictures of things you missed. Secrets used in next game. Whoa! Do you he did you hear that, Kazooie? We're gonna be in another game! Great, so let's see the pictures then, Skirt Boy! Did you get all 100 jigsaw pieces? We sure did, Mr. Mumbo! Yeah, so show us your secrets, Mask Midge. <laughs> oh no! Pictures show things you missed. Secrets that are for new game. Banjo-Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts. Sounds great, is it any good? Mumbo's jaw dropped in awe. Hey, I'd better be in it too, short stuff. Banjo-Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts make Banjo-Kazooie look like jo- Hey! <laughs> Those are fighting words? Excuse me? Nuts and Bolts makes Banjo-Kazooie look like a joke. And what about Tui? Excuse me? Okay, I know that Nuts and Bolts is just where the stop and swap items come into play, but still, come on! Wow, a secret cavern. Bear and bird must climb to top. What's up there, dumb skull? Wait and see, oh filthy feathered one. I mean, we collected this! We collected this! Just putting that out there, we already have gotten that and seen it. Thanks, Mumbo. Next secret found in snow. So, yeah, obviously, he's just going through all of the stop and swap items and giving you hints on them. At least for the ones that were originally in the game, anyway. Not all of them were, like, in the ones in Mad Monster Mansion or Rusty Bucket Bay, blah, blah, blah. But this is supposed to be your hint about, like, how to find them in the original N64 game, which is... I don't know, it's a little bit strange because everything is different now. They didn't update... Whoops! Screensaver, no. But yeah, they just didn't update it for the Xbox version, which I get it, but it's still weird. Nice, Mumbo. Please tell us what the eggs and key are for. No, bird rude to Mumbo, not tell. I wonder what's in here. Oh, it's only another stupid egg. Wow, how do we get to those? Mumbo not telling. Find out in Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Remember when it was all unlocked? Anyway? Remember when we did that? I remember. Mumbo, you're late to the punch. Very, very, very late to the punch, good sir. Uh, rock so heavy, but Kalongo must rescue mistress. All the jiggies you did snatch, but I'll be back for my rematch. Game over. Game over. They give us a game over for completing this game when in the N64 version, it says the end. I do not understand why they changed this, but they did. 
That is the weirdest change I have ever seen, and it's bizarre, and I don't get why they didn't just, I don't know, give you the satisfaction of the end? I don't know, I, I mean, I guess technically, yes, the game is over, but Game Over has a very you screwed up connotation, you know? That's just, that's very strange. That's a really, really, really strange change, but I guess it's whatever. The Xbox version of Banjo-Kazooie has some really, really weird quirks. For the most part, yes, it is a very good re not remake, but a very, very good port of this game, and it makes a lot of good quality of life choices, and I think that it's definitely worth playing. But there are some weird decisions as we have covered throughout the game. But I mean, like I said, it's mostly good, but the game over thing just weirds me out. It's a little confusing. Don't know why they did that, but hey, take what you can get, I suppose. Anyway, with that, we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up in this finale of Banjo-Kazooie. Next time, we're gonna be going back, getting our double health for one, and for two, there's a little something in Banjo's house that we haven't actually gone to go look at yet. So, I'll see you guys next time in the bonus episode of Banjo-Kazooie. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have had as much fun as I did. I also like how we're ending this in Clanker's Cavern! A plus! A plus timing!